How would you describe depression to someone who's never had it? Everything matters too much and nothing matters. For me it was fatigue that was so intense I would avoid even going to the bathroom for as long as possible just to stay in bed. The second thing was this dark awareness that there isn't really anything that I'm longing for that would make a difference. For example, when you have a flu or something and you lay in bed feeling like crap, you know that in a couple days you will feel better. When I was depressed, there was no relief to look forward to. No light at the end of the tunnel. I couldn't think of a single thing that would make me happy. Extreme apathy. Dream state. Everything is dull and heavy all at once. It's not laziness. You feel so numb it's hard to even get out of bed to go to the toilet. You just feel numb all the time and get anger outbursts. Like being more bored than you can possibly imagine, but also not being able to imagine a single thing you actually want to do no matter how hard you try, including thinking and breathing. It's different for everyone but for me it's being tired all the time. You have moments when maybe you feel okay but as soon as you start something you're tired. Just so tired. Edit for spelling. Life is passing by and you don't enjoy the movie. You see yourself moving, talking, but it is not you. You do not feel but you remember that feelings exist. You can't sleep and you can't be awake. Windows and bridges are calling you and you have to put big effort not to follow this call. The smallest task can feel impossible. The mere thought makes you feel worse. Sarah Silverman said it feels like being desperately homesick even though you're home. I'd agree but modify it to feeling homesick for a home that doesn't exist. It's a nothingness. Someone from my old school killed herself and my mom said I can't imagine it life. Being so dark that suicide feels like the only option. I wanted to tell her that it's not always a darkness, for some it's just nothing and sadness all the time. Just clean apathy. And sometimes fear of getting in the car and having to drive somewhere alone. Driving to the grocery store and knowing you need to buy milk and bread and getting a great parking spot but not having the energy to go in. And by energy, it feels like there is a greater gravitational force on your body that is pulling you to the core of the earth. Every step feels heavier. Moving your body is harder. No one else is suffering from this gravity issue. They are all moving normally. This is painfully obvious. So you go home. Milk and bread can wait for another day. You know the arc in Dragon Ball Z where Goku trains in 100x gravity, and every little movement is extremely difficult for him? It's exactly like that, but you're not Goku. You just lay on the floor for six months. A persistent and heavy cloud that hangs over your mind and heart, even on sunny days. It's like being in a dark forest and you have a flashlight that doesn't work. And you can make out the glimmer of light from other people in the distance wandering the forest with their flashlights working perfectly fine. And you try to hit your flashlight to make it work, try changing the batteries to see if that's the problem, but you just can't get the flashlight to work. So you're left with seeing other people around you enjoying their surroundings with their flashlights the trees, the rivers, the wildlife, while you're just left alone in the dark. Having a constant liar in your head that's telling you you're shit, you're a burden, you're stressing people out, people are disappointed in you. Etc etc etc. At least that's it for me. Sometimes less prevalent than other times. Therapy has helped me a lot with managing symptoms but when I go into a depressive wave, that liar is shouting. Cilantro tastes like soap to me I wonder what it actually tastes like. That's akin to how I wonder how people without depression feel. I'd never know. It's a weight. A weight that's with you from the moment you open your eyes, till the moment you close them. This weight also whispers in your ear about everything you've ever done wrong, tells you everyone's hates you, and you're worthless. My weight's mad too. It's terrible and other than drugs and alcohol nothing helps lift it off you. I have BPD, ASPD, and bipolar too. To all that struggle with depression my heart's with you. Carrying a heavy suitcase full of sadness around all day, every day. Sleep is the only non-drug reprieve. I exercise to keep me strong enough to carry the suitcase, but it's always there. 
like having your soul sucked right out of you then told to continue as normal despite being a shell. Tired of life and being too tired to improve it. Everything becomes a chore and you feel as though there's no hope and that your life is stagnant and will remain as shitty as it currently is. Isolation is where you feel safe and socializing becomes a chore or you just avoid it completely. You live in your regrets and failures rather than living with them and learning from them. You let the smallest inconvenience of the day define you even if you cured cancer you'll be thinking about how you came to work late that day, and how much of an inconvenience you are. I want to get up. I want to do the things I need to do. But something is sitting on me. I'm almost frozen. It hurts even to move my eyes. Everything is irritating and overwhelming. Thank goodness for therapy, medicine, exercise, and weed. Living hurts. You can't go on living like this, but you can't tell anyone because you don't want to waste their time. Like wearing a suit made of bricks. Imagine that everything you eat just tastes like plain oatmeal. Your favorite foods taste like plain oatmeal. You try speaking new and it tastes like plain oatmeal. You even try someone you used to hate, just to see if it's different oatmeal. I would share Emily Dickinson's poem I Felt a Funeral in my brain with them. It's like seeing a kid get ran over right in front of you and can't even muster a main response. You're dull to everything. Nothing gets you high, nothing gets you low. For me it feels like helplessness. Knowing I should be doing things, but I just can't get myself in gear. I'll slowly make it to second and third gear. It gets better for a while and then bam I'm back in neutral and the cycle starts all over again. The best analogy I've found is that depression feels like a dead tree. It looks fine on the outside, but on the inside you feel completely dead, hollow, and empty. Depression to me feels like emptiness, hopelessness, the inability to experience any joy, feel any emotion or care about anything. People often equate depression with sadness, but to me it's not sadness, but the utter impossibility to feel anything. Imagine the week after your uncle you like died. But it lasts months or years. And nothing bad had actually happened. Then you feel better for a few weeks, then back to how it was before. Nothing matters anymore. You know that you should try to do the things that make you happy, but you don't have the energy to even start them. You then feel like a failure because you can't even make yourself get off the couch and grab your Nintendo Switch out of your room. You constantly want to cry and have no idea why. Your thoughts are jumbled, and you can't control the bizarre ideas that pop into your head. You don't want to eat anything because you are perpetually nauseous. It's a truly awful disease that I wouldn't wish on anyone. Walking through an endless tunnel by yourself, reducing the world to a speck of light in the distance that you can never quite bring into focus or arrive at. Can't. Too tired. Before I ever had it I thought it was about being sad, crying, being irrational. Since I've experienced real depression anxiety bouts, it's really been the desire to do absolutely nothing. Doing a load of laundry, watering plants, taking a shower, etc. feels like a huge accomplishment. And for me, it's compounded by the fact that I feel like a failure doing nothing but have no drive to put things into action, and fix the shame and pressure I'm putting on myself mentally. Hope that helps. It's all the things your phone does when your battery is getting really low only it happens in your brain instead. Like being trapped in an abusive relationship, yet you are both the victim and the abuser. You're always drowning, and everything you do to cope is just trying to get your head above the water. You will panic at random times. That's when you lose energy to keep your head out of the water and dip below. You will feel momentary relief when you find something to perch on and it gets easier. However those are temporary. You will be always fighting not to drown. It gets tiring. So very tiring. Just replace the water with negative emotions.